Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Well, so, uh, <laughs> today was a sad day for Donald Trump. <laughs> you know, I, I just, I feel like uh, when they showed him walking, you know, the perp walk, <laughs> uh, this, uh, earlier this, uh, well, it was, I think it was late, late morning, I guess, you know, or whenever, uh, it felt surreal, like, you know, oh, geez, you know, because, you know, I, you know, I, you figure the guy's Teflon Don, right? And even though he could still somehow get away with the things that he did, uh, seeing him being arrested, but, you know, he didn't have the cuffs on, but seeing him being taken into custody uh, and then have the charges read to him, 34 of them, okay, um, it kind of felt a little bit uh, relieving in a way, like, you know, you know, something that he gave to us is getting thrown back at him, you know what I'm saying, tit for tat, <laughs> um, and so, it, you know, it gave me a, just a, a bit of hope that, you know, maybe he'll answer for at least some of the shit that he did, <laughs> okay, I can't really expect that, you know, he'll get what he should get, but maybe he'll get punished for something, <laughs> you know, and, you know, this is just this issue in New York. He's got uh, court things going on in other parts of the country here that he's, he's faced with. So this guy's got a, a full plate here. Uh, to, to have him try to run for president, you know, uh, would be laughable, okay, to expect him to, to be able to do that. So, I just feel like, hey, you know, he, he did some damage to this country, and now it's time to do some damage to him, you know, and the funny thing is, is he's out getting donations from his fucking fan base, you know, his Trump, the Trump supporters, in the, in the amount of millions of dollars, I think like over four million dollars he's already racked up, and what's he going to do with that money? He's probably going to use it to pay his lawyers, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, these people are so stupid and naive to... You know, it's like it's not enough that you guys are defending a crook, but you're also backing this crook with your own money, knowing that he's probably just going to shift you, you know, you know, uh, turn his back on you. When, you know, these people are so gullible. So, you know, how can gullible people on this level be trusted to know what's right or wrong about anything concerning that man? Uh, they've swallowed all his propaganda up to this to this point. And they still believe, you know, they still believe he's innocent. They still believe he, he did did nothing wrong. And even though they, they, they've all listened to the charges being read, okay, and they were out in New York protesting with Marjorie Taylor Greene with her fucking megaphone, okay, even though they were out there, they know he's being charged. What do they think? They're pulling these charges out of their ass that they have no evidence? I mean, come on. You, you know... They don't, these people think that they're, they're just conjuring this shit up. And it's like, well, what happens if they show you some evidence to back up the charge? I mean, are you still going to say that the charge was ridiculous? That it was a witch hunt? That it was a political maneuver? Come on, the guy actually did crimes. Okay? He did crimes. And it's going to come out during the trial because Donald Trump was stupid enough to plead not guilty. So that means everything that he did is going to have to be brought forward now the whole sh the whole shebang is going to have to come forward now he'd have been better off pleading guilty and maybe making some kind of a plea deal but now that he's pled guilty there's no denying what's going to be coming out of that court you, i mean so what are the the, the trumpers going to do are they going to sit there and say oh that's made up that's made up you know made up things don't don't go to court okay <laughs> 
you know, <clears throat> as soon as there's a, a hole in a fucking case, that case is gone. I mean, you can't bribe everybody. Jesus. I mean, they uh, for some reason, they think that the whole country is being bought off by the Democrats. Believe me, the Democrat Party doesn't have that kind of fucking money. Donald Trump does. Okay? Everywhere he goes, he's got people he's paying off. Jesus. I mean, you know, I just, I feel like, you know, these, these animals here that support Trump, they've got to believe in some of the craziest things. And, and you know, like someone said, the QAnon. These people believe in all the conspiracy theories that are out there, whether they make any sense or not. They believe in all of that, okay? Problem is, is you can't believe in every conspiracy theory because eventually they're going to clash with one another, all right? So, uh, right now, the, the uh, Trump-looking party is clashing with the facts, okay? They don't want to look at the facts. They don't want to acknowledge them or even admit that there could be some truth there. Because uh, that would blow a hole in their damn theory about Trump being innocent. So, as long as they ignore what's going on right now legally and in court, uh, their their opinion will stand on its own. But they have to keep their eyes off the TV. They have to keep watching uh, Fox News so that way they won't hear the truth. That's That's the way they're getting by here. You know? And I feel like... I, I, <clears throat> I feel like this is... Uh, you know, that the party, or the trump fans, I should say, that the fans, the cult, is going to be really put to the test now. Now that these things are happening, now that the courts are, are getting involved and Trump's being arrested for things, okay, now they're they're really going to have to see what's going on. If they give a, if they give two shits about Trump, like, we're, like we know that they do, then they're going to be glued to that TV, to the, the trial, to see what the hell went down, okay? They're going to, they can't help themselves. They're going to watch. And I can't think that, you know, they're going to stay unified through the whole thing. Eventually, some of the weaker supporters are going to just turn their turn their nose upward at it and say goodbye. You know, uh, there's just way too much. I mean, just, just for today, the 34 indictments, or the charges rather, that, that, that was read off. I mean, that's, that's like a web of, of, of fucking crap that... Uh, that it's going to take a lot of lot of discussion. It's going to take a lot of explaining to people, average person, what all that meant. Okay, uh, so there's going to be a lot of a lot of talk about, you know, what the hell did that mean? What? Why did he do this? Why did he do that? You know, how is this supposed to help support that? You know, it's a big web. All those all those crimes, all those charges, all connect. Okay. Uh, you know, where you got people lying for this one, and you got somebody covering up for that one, and, you know, and you got, I mean, Stormy Daniels is just the tiniest bit of, of part of this case. I mean, she was paid off to keep silent, okay? But everything else overshadows Stormy uh, Daniels' uh, 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 persona in this thing. I mean, the, last night, the, the Fox News idiots were out there trying to say this whole thing is about Stormy Daniels. Well... Not really, because you didn't hear much said about Stormy Daniels and they were reading the charges off. Her name was mentioned once, okay? And it was only to, uh, that she took a, a payoff to keep silent, okay? That's all Stormy Daniels is in, involved in this. They probably won't even call her to the stand. <clears throat> I mean, because they probably already got her statement. They don't really need her there. So, there, yeah, there's going to be a lot, a lot of reveal here that's really going to surprise a lot of the Trump supporters. And all I can think of is that, hey, you know, you guys, you had it your way for all this time, okay? You, you rolled the boat against the storm, and you think that... The guy that you support is is Snow White. Well, now you're going to start to see the truth. What you do with that information is up to you. If you want to continue to be a sucker, then you'll be a sucker for the next guy that comes along and promises you all kinds of shit. All right? You'll be a sucker for them. 
But if you want to stop living in denial, okay, and you want to get part of the program, then you'll pay attention to what's going to happen. You'll pay attention to that. And when it's all over, you're going to look like a, well, you're going to have egg on your face. For some of you, that's going to be too much. You're not going to want to believe that you were that duped. All right? Um, but you're going to hear the truth, a lot of truth about what went on, you know, behind closed doors with Trump and the years and he was president and all that shit. But mostly this case is about financial matters, you know, ripping off New York State and all the, the matters that, you know, pertain to, to taxes and stuff like that and hush money. Um, that's basically what all this is going to boil down to. And yes, it's not going to be uh, as engaging as, say, a murder trial or something like that, okay? It's not going to, it's going to be boring to a lot of folks because when you're talking money, it, uh, <laughs> a lot of it goes over our heads. And, if, and, and the proof of that is that everybody in this country is carrying around debt, <laughs> okay? So not everybody understands uh, the uh, in intricacies of, of finance, and how to and how to make it work for them, okay, me included here. Um, so naturally, that's not going to be a topic a lot of us are going to be able to embrace and understand fully. But what we all we really need to know is what laws did he break, okay, while while he was doing this, uh, and and how those laws, uh, uh, how how we. Uh, violated him did he knowingly violate him or you know what i'm saying that's that's really all that matters it doesn't really matter the details of what it is that he did all we need to know is did he do this and break a law and and in most cases it's the answer is going to be yes so even if he gets a handful of charges uh you know you know acquitted or something like that he's still going to have a whole bunch of others he's going to have to answer for so you know i i don't see that you know, he's going to be able to get away with all these charges, okay, easily. Uh, and th there's going to be a hell of a fight, okay, because they wouldn't have brought this this case forward and charged him if they didn't think they had a good chance of winning. Because remember, they, de they denied charging Trump over this matter uh, a couple of times before. But now, they have some extra evidence that they didn't have before, and it matters mostly to New York State, or New York City rather, and that's the reason why the DA decided they were going to bring charges on him because they figured, well, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to protect our laws here, that he broke the laws in this state, uh, and so we're going to charge him. And they wouldn't have gone that far if they didn't think they could get him. So, I, 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 like I said, this is not going to be, uh, you know, a case that people are going to want to just say, oh, it's just a Democrat hit job and all this crap. No, you're, you're trying to take a big mountain and, and shrink it down to the size of a friggin' molehill. I mean, come on. You know, this is not something small. None of these things that's happening to him, none of the things that he, the laws he broke or the crimes he committed are small. They're all big crimes, okay? And who knows, there may even be a few bodies buried somewhere, you know, not, not saying there is, but, you know, I wouldn't put it past them to, you know, have knocked some people off, you know, to shut them up, permanent, you know, the guy acts like a gangster, so why doesn't, why wouldn't he do something like that, so, <clears throat> uh, like I said, when I saw him there today, and he was, looked somber, and, you know, morose, and all that, and I'm thinking, you know, he's got no reason to be somber and morose, this guy can afford a team of lawyers that, you know, even O.J. Simpson, would feel embarrassed at okay he's got a, a whole team of lawyers he's got a bodyguards he's got you know the secret service surrounding him he got he, he flew in from florida to to new york to show up for that and then they let him go back home after they didn't put an ankle bracelet on him they didn't you know uh make uh make him stay or you know because they anybody else they'd have had to stay in the in the jail okay they'd have had to stay in jail not this, not, not Trump. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, so, you know, he's got, he's got it better than most. White privilege, yeah. 
You better believe it. White privilege. And here he is sitting there like, oh, my whole world is coming down. You know, his whole world hasn't come down, not yet. Okay, it hasn't come down, not yet. It might have taken a little bit of bruising, but he's still got quite a, uh, quite a world there. Uh, and there's a lot of secrets in that world that we've yet to uncover. Okay, we've yet to uncover. And, and then there, of course, is that little side issue about uh, Jeffrey Epstein. You know, and him being seen together, pictures of him together with this guy. I still think that, you know, Trump was so, kind of involved a little bit in that human trafficking shit that Jeffrey Epstein was doing. He has to. He had to have known about it. You know, is that something that might come out in, in one of these court cases that, that's coming around? I mean, do, do you think they'll find out that, oh, you know what? He got money from Jeffrey Epstein. What was that for? You know, who knows? You know, there might be some tr facts that'll come out for that. Uh, and that might lead to, you know, a theory as to who actually, what actually really happened to Jeffrey Epstein. Did he hang himself or was he, was he knocked off, you know, and by who? So I don't know. All I'm saying is that there's a lot. There's a lot that Trump is hiding and more than his big fat ass can hide, okay? And he's depending a lot on people staying loyal to him and keeping their mouths shut. And that's his big problem right there because a lot of people don't stay loyal to him for very long and they don't keep their mouths shut and that's because he burns everybody every time they do something he doesn't like. So he's got no loyalty to them and they in turn don't have any loyalty to him. So I don't think he's going to be able to to be able to shut everybody up or take the fifth or, or or lie on the stand for him. Somebody's going to open their yap, you know, and uh, all the dominoes will fall, as they say. All right, talk to you guys later.